and Stamford Bridge is the venue on a very pleasant day for football here in West London. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Chelsea taking on Manchester United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Jorginho plays alongside Mateo Kovacic in central midfield. And the main threat in attack today will likely be Romelu Lukaku. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Mount. Here's Kovacic. Jorginho. What can Chelsea do from this position? Havertz. They really look after the ball when they have it. Options in the centre. Unable to keep the ball. Shaw. Here's Ronaldo. Rashford. Here's Luke Shaw. And showing fine vision. Jorginho, plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Fred. Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Fred. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Bruno Fernandes. Tremendous challenge. Kai Havertz. Here's Chilwell. Havertz. Kovacic. Now with Jorginho. Mount. And now Havertz. And a very good challenge. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo takes aim and denied by the keeper. Impressive. Let's see about the delivery. No nonsense clearance. Rashford. Playing advantage here. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say they're good value for the lead. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal.
So Chelsea get the game restarted. How will they respond to that goal? Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Mount. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, a fine first half showing from Bruno Fernandes. What have you made of what he's put... Well, the ball is moving once more. Not enough went to plan for Chelsea in the first half. Can they address what didn't go right? Mateo Kovacic. Kai Havertz. Now with Jorginho. Christensen. On to Jorginho. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. But just like that, possession changes hands. Greenwood. Ronaldo. Mason Greenwood. How can they create something? Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and he does well to read the flight of the ball, to be fair. Almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper, and that seemed to catch him off guard. A really good control finish. Goal for Manchester So, 2-0 now. Number 18, Bruno Fernandes. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. They're showing a real will to win the ball. Scott McTominay. Fred with it. Mason Greenwood. towards Marcus Rashford Fred and that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick well we're highlighting him for a reason he's bossing the game Stuart and giving the defenders headaches well he scored good goals but his all round play has been excellent he looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball here's a change for Manchester United Jorginho James in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here Reese James and an astute piece of defending Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Bruno Fernandes. Promising sequence. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Well, with the second half drawing to a close, Chelsea know they've got to scale a huge mountain. Well, they've been second best, that's for sure. And the main problem has been in midfield, where they've been overrun at times. They just haven't been able to get enough possession. It's not been a good performance today. Well, nothing he could really do based on the cross. Maguire. Bruno Fernandes. Well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. 
Fred. Matic. Here is Fred. Manchester United keep the ball. Advantage. They've regained possession. And so into the final five minutes. Options in the middle. Rhys James. Jorginho. Good physical play. Jorginho! And a really good diving stop. United will switch things around personnel wise. And over it comes. Well, not quite accurate enough. Well, his movement was good, he attacked it well, but he just got underneath it. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Maguire. Pogba. Cut out superbly by Kovacic. The final whistle then. The referee says that will be all. And Chelsea fans less than pleased. No points for Chelsea from this game. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Not a strong contribution from Bruno Fernandes. Interested to know what you made of his performance. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.